learning about uniform circular motion. Uniform circular motion When the velocity of an object changes, we say that the object is accelerating. The change in the velocity could be due to change in its magnitude or the direction of the motion or both. Let us consider an example of the motion of a body along a closed path. Let us assume that the car runs at a uniform speed on the straight paths AB, BC, CD and DA of the track. In order to keep itself on the track, it quickly changes its speed at the corners. How many times will the car have to change its direction of motion while it completes one round? It is clear that to move in a rectangular track once, it has to change its direction of motion four times. Now suppose, instead of a rectangular track, the car is running along a hexagonal shaped path, A, B, C, D, E, F. In this situation, the car will have to change its direction six times while it completes one round. What if the track was not a hexagon? but a regular octagon with eight equal sides as shown by A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. It is observed that as the number of sides of the track increases, the car has to take turns more and more often. What would happen to the shape of the track as we go on increasing the number of sides indefinitely? If you do this, you will notice that the shape of the track approaches the shape of a circle and the length of each of the sides will decrease to a point. If the car moves with a velocity of constant magnitude along the circular path, the only change in its velocity is due to the change in the direction of motion. The motion of the car moving along a circular path is Therefore, an example of an accelerated motion. When an object moves in a circular path with uniform speed, its motion is called uniform circular motion. Activity Take a piece of thread and tie a small piece of stone at one of its ends. Move the stone to describe a circular path with constant speed by holding the thread at the other end. Now, let the stone go by releasing the thread. We observe that, on being released, the stone moves along a straight line, tangential, to the circular path. This is because, once the stone is released, it continues to move along the direction it has been moving at that instant. This shows that, the direction of motion changed at every point when the stone was moving along the circular path. To calculate the speed of a body in uniform circular motion, when a body takes one round of a circular path, then it travels a distance equal to its circumference, which is given by 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the circular path. The speed of a body or object moving along a circular path is given by the formula V is equal to 2 pi r divided by t, where V is equal to speed. Pi is equal to 22 by 7, it is constant. R is equal to radius of circular path. And t is equal to Time taken for one round of the circular path. We will use this formula to solve a numerical problem now. 
Sample problem A. A car goes around a circular track once every two minutes. If the radius of the circular track is 105 meters, calculate its speed. Given, pi is equal to 22 by 7. Solution. We know that for a body moving in a circular path, V is equal to 2 pi r divided by t. Here, speed v is equal to to be calculated. Pi is equal to 22 by 7. Radius of the circular track r is equal to 105 meters. And time taken for one round, t is equal to 2 minutes is equal to 2 into 60 seconds. That is equal to 120 seconds. Now, putting these values for pi, r and t in the above formula, we get v is equal to 2 multiplied by 22 multiplied by 105 divided by 7 multiplied by 120. That is equal to 5.5 meter per second. Thus, the speed of the car on the circular track is 5.5 meters per second. Summary The motion of an object moving at uniform acceleration can be described with the help of three equations, namely V is equal to U plus AT S is equal to UT plus half AT square 2AS is equal to V square minus U square where U is the initial velocity of the object which moves with uniform acceleration A for time t, v is its final velocity and s is the distance it travelled in time t. If an object moves in a circular path with uniform speed, its motion is called uniform circular motion. That is all in this chapter students. Keep moving and enjoy learning.